So I had a couple of questions uh, on my social media about these vapor blasters and whether or not you can use them on engine components. Uh, so pistons like this, quite often you can't use sand blasters or that sort of thing. You can use the probably less abrasive soda blasters, but the sand blasters are just a little bit too harsh for them now. This piston here is a bit past its day. As you can see, it's got broken skirts on it and the crown's taken a hammering, smashing into the valves there. It was actually so tight I struggled to get the uh, rings out. It folded the, the top of the, the landings over. Uh, but it'll do for this demonstration anyway. So when uh, you're rebuilding engines or, or replacing your rings, people will quite often break down a piston ring and they just use that to kind of scrape the, the landings out, get all the carbon out. But that can be quite time consuming and, and doesn't always do the job. These vapor blasters I've found have been a lot less abrasive than, than the sand and, and even the, the soda blast thing and they tend to bring them up quite nicely quite quickly. So. I've got this old piston, not good for anything else, but we'll fire it through, see what sort of job we can get out of it, and um, and just show you that even these cheap vapor blasters that you can kind of build yourself out of an old sand blaster will actually do a pretty good job and relatively quickly. So um, I'll get set up, we'll fire it in the machine, and we'll just see what sort of finish we can get out of it.
here is the result after about five minutes um, I got slowed down a little bit because of the compressor not able to keep up um, I'm gonna sort that out in the next couple of weeks uh, but you can kind of see a little hard to get to focus on in there about how much of that carbon it gets out so even with having to stop the compressor and, and fill it up again and messing around and, and also rushing a bit because I don't have that much time to make this video uh, you can kind of see the results that you can get the other thing that you might notice with just a little bit more of a point of interest you can kind of see the difference there the part on the left that I've just done is kind of a dull almost a matte finish where the one on the right that I did a while back is a lot shinier and it's also got more of a deeper grey to it now I find this happens when the beads degrade um, the, the blast media once it's all broken up and cracked it tends to give you more of this white finish and it progressively gets worse and worse and starts looking like a sandblasted part you change them out and then it goes back to this nice pearly like grey finish but that's uh, as you can see relatively good quick job you can see in the landings there where I butchered it trying to get those rings out after it took a hiding but you can still see pretty well how well it'll get in there and, and clean I haven't had anyone yet tell me that you can't do this with a vapor blaster it's a lot softer than other abrasive media uh, blast cabinets and, and blast machines um, so as far as I'm aware there's no issue with it I haven't heard anyone say that you can't do it um, they are pretty gentle despite the finish that you can get off them they tend to pin the surface of the metal rather than abrade it um, so as far as I'm aware you can get away with it so in my eyes probably the best way of, of attacking this if you can put one of these things together in your own workshop there you go